to next. So on the back, you see that you have two columns of words. And so you can pick any words in your content area that you would want. You just have to divide them into two columns. And your, col your students will choose one word from each. And they're going to find a way to connect them. What, what relationship do those two words have? This is something that you could use in the gradual release of responsibility. You could have whole group where you do it together. You could have small group, or you could have individuals do it, write it, um, turn it in if you would like. You, there's multiple ways you can do it. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to number yourselves one to six, five, whatever you are, and hold up what number you are in your group. On your, person number three, you get to pick the two words. So you're going to pick a word from column one and pick a word from column two, and then as a group you're going to have two minutes to come up with an explanation. And then one of you is going to tell the rest of the class about it. Questions before we start? So as a group, you're going to come up with the relationship between the two words that person number three chose. So person number one is going to give the explanation when I pick your group. So whoever chose to be person number one, you're going to give your group's explanation. So what about triple? What, did, what was your explanation? Okay. Go ahead. Um, you wanna, you wanna work yep, two words in your yeah, connection. Property and expression. We did a common denominator extraction, and what we said is when you add subtractions, you need a common denominator. 